All right, hello everybody. Welcome to Healy for Beginners and Beyond for Thursday, June 22nd, um, 2023, the second day of summer here. Um, it is doesn't look like summer here. Well, actually, I guess it does look like summer in Florida here because it's raining right now. <laughs> Uh, typical thunder shower going on right now, but we are here today. Again, I'm Jake Barron, Head of Operations for the Americas, and I'm here with my amazing co-host, um, Ken Close, product expert, and many, many other things here. We're going to kind of guide you through the top five things you need to know heading into summer here um, at Healy World. So um, on the agenda, you'll see we have, uh, we're talking just briefly about the Analyze 2 app. We're not going to go too much in detail because there's going to be a big um, global training on that next week. Then more information will be coming out about that. Uh, talk a little bit about the Mag Healy subscription model. Get a little bit um, deeper into that than we've been talking about on prior calls because it is just around the corner. Um, then we're going to share some just general tips about charging your device. You know, we've had a um, on all of our tech calls, specifically Tech Tip Tuesday, a lot of questions about the type of chargers you should be using and can you use a power bank to charge your devices and two amp versus three amp and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to kind of try to um, explain everything as, as easy as possible. Um, and then we'll go from there. And then uh, we're going to close with some of the, just the overview of where to find the resources that you need to have the best experience with your Healy products, whether it's from the product app manuals, um, to the back office, to the, our, our YouTube page, um, Healy World Americas, to our help center. Uh, we'll run through a little bit of that, and then we'll close with just a, a quick overview of some of the new things that are coming to Academy. So um, it's going to be a fun call, uh, top five. And if we have time, we'll go through what well, on a six, seven, or eight. We'll see. <laughs> Let's just get started here um, with that top. We're going to start with the Analyze 2 app. So. And, you know, we did a uh, sort of a sneak peek. Uh, it was beginning of, was beginning of April, I believe it was. Yeah, I believe beginning of April, I believe it was a sneak peek into the new features of the Analyze 2 app. And we're not going to go through all those same features again, but just want to cover some of the things that have kind of been clarified since we did that last training as far as, you know, one of the, the big things is that anyone that's been using the new beta, the beta version of the app, uh, which is amazing, um, by the way, um, we're, you know, of course, super excited about the launch of this new app. But uh, one of the, the biggest thing I think that people were wondering is, well, where is the export PDF feature? You know, it, it was it was not been available at all through this whole beta process. Um, and, you know, the, the because of the timing, you know, we the the actual full launch of the NLS 2 app was pushed back a little bit. And actually, because of that, that export PDF feature is going to be available when it launches here on um, the first week of July. It actually was recently added to the beta version of the app. So some of you may have actually been able to see how that works and experience it. But um, so I know a lot of people will, uh, you know, were concerned about not having that feature because they use it so often, and it will be available uh, when that app launches here um, in the next couple of weeks. And also, you know, Ken, what, what is what is your favorite feature of the new Analyze 2 app? Well, you know, I love all the expandable buttons. Yeah, those info well, boxes, right? Yeah, it, it, well, it's actually hard to, 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 to say one, but... All yeah. the expandable boxes and the fact that we can still run um, transmit mode or vibrate mode, even when we move out of the app, you know, and you can actually do other functions on your smart device, right? Um, I remember we yeah. were, once upon a time, we would have maybe a dedicated smart device just to, so no interruptions would come around that so we could make sure and do all the vibrate function for the duration. Yeah. Now we can, uh, we can do multiple things at once. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, like most people probably, I, I don't have a standalone smart device for yeah. my Analyze app. I just use my phone. So I think we've all been in a situation where it's like you're up here vibrating a program and maybe you get a really important phone call and you're like, I need to take this phone call, but you know what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, you're going to get kicked out, something like that, have to restart. So yeah, that is a, that is one of the most convenient new features for sure uh, right. of, of the new Analyze 2 app. So I'm just going to highlight two other things um, on this next screen. Oh, okay. So 
there's going to be a new single sign-on process as well for the Analyze 2 app. This is actually going to be added to all of Healy's websites and apps. You kind of may have noticed it some little bit with Academy, but um, with the new Analyze 2 app, when you go to log in, you're not actually going to be logging into the Analyze 2 app. You're going to be logging into sort of the single sign-on infrastructure, and you're going to use your Healy shop credentials to log in um, and then once you're logged in there, you're kind of logged in across across the whole platform. So the the plan is once this is rolled out in all the different areas, no matter if you logged into back office or if you're logged into shop, you're like, like you don't have to type in your information again. You can just click log in and you go straight into the app. So again, trying to make it easier to use um, for everybody, not having to remember, okay, do I use my username or do I use my email? Do I use what you know? There's one password for all the Healy apps, which is nice and convenient, but um, of course, you don't want to type that stuff in. Uh, the fewer times, the better, <laughs> for sure. So just trying to improve that user experience a little bit too. And then also, one of the this is one of the newer things that you may have noticed if you're testing the Analyze 2 app. So this is the process of migrating your clients from the current Analyze app, the Blue Dot app, to the new Analyze 2 app. So um, when you, when this app officially launches, if you have that final production version, uh, you'll, when you first log in on that main screen, you'll have an option to, let's see, I have it circled here to migrate now. Um, and then basically you'll be taken to a, a, the next screen where it, it explains, this is a one-time opportunity to migrate your client profiles over to the new Analyze 2 app. It's just the clients. It's not the list too. Uh, but you say oh, I know a lot of people have hundreds and hundreds of clients, so uh, this will certainly be a, a convenient feature for them as well. And all you do is you say, you know, yes, I want to go ahead and migrate, and then it'll go through that process. Uh, depending on how many clients you have, it determines you know how long it's going to take. But um, it's it's very simple. Just just keep that in mind when you do log in and use that final production version for the first time that you will have the opportunity. I want everybody to remember too, though, um, it, it, that that remember this is using your data or Wi-Fi. So um, if if you've gotten certain things turned off on your smart device, you know, such as uh, your Wi-Fi, or you have um, the the allowed data uh, transfer turned off, then it's not gonna it's it's not gonna do this. Uh, but and also remember the speed in which your data transfer is um, the bandwidth, I should say. Is going to determine how fast how long this takes and if like jake said if you have thousands of clients it might take a minute <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and then and as you mentioned these are just a little screenshot of those pop-up boxes that you referred to before you know we get we get this question all the time what does this 92 percent mean what is this lm you know so this kind of gives you in each of those categories what does the this came up uh this week on tech tip tuesday right ken so we're talking about asked what the difference was between relevance and intensity. And I said, well, in the new Analyze 2 app, it's going to actually tell you what those things are. Um, if you just click on the that icon section, it'll pop up, uh, which is great too. So again. I yeah. love that because it's like I said, the expandable buttons. We just can now gain a, a, a more more clarity. This like like Jake said, yeah, this question comes up all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And as you mentioned, I'm not going to spend much time on this, but ability to run in the background is, is awesome. So, um, yeah, so Ken, anything, I know, so like I said, be on the lookout, there's be a communication coming out here in the next few days. So it's part of how to, how to register to attend this global product training. I believe it's gonna be on June 28th, uh, but we're gonna, it's gonna be a deeper dive into the new Analyze 2 app and then Green our Healy for Beginners and Beyond in July. I believe it's going to be July 20th is um, what the schedule. We're going to go do a, a deep dive. And it's the full app will have been out there for a few weeks, the final version. And we'll go a little bit deeper into each of some of the different features, you know, things such as how do you access demo mode in the, in the new app as well, because it's a little bit different than the current one. And where did the full sync option go? You know, there's no longer a separate full synchronization option. It's kind of doing all this um, when you start up and, and also in the <clears throat> excuse me in the background too. So, and we'll go through some of the different features in the the aura module and the, the residence module. The coach the coach module is you know 
I think everyone loves that new wheel feature, Ken, the, the graphic, the graphic yeah. wheel. It's so much easier to understand what you really need to work on. <laughs> it is a nice pie chart, I guess you might say. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yep. So we, we will go through all of that. And yeah, um, for actually, I think actually for anyone that will register for today's call, um, I think you're already registered for the next call in July because we put them all in there together. So you should be good for the next couple of months. But um, now we're going to kind of just transition over to some, some new information about the Mac Healy subscriptions. So um, this is, of course, we've, we've been talking about this a lot. We've had a lot of amazing promos on the Mac Healy over the last few weeks and the month or two. Um, and this is, this is a, a great new option for anybody wanting to introduce um, new customers or new members to Healy. So, you know, right now the Mac Healy as itself typically sells for the, the full price, the 2,990 USD. It's a very high price point. So if you want to introduce somebody to Healy, that might be kind of an issue for someone that wants to just first start out and try it out. So we've been wanting to do this for a while. It's, part of, it's been part of the long-term plan um, is to offer uh, an entry level version that's cheaper. Um, it's priced at 800 euros. It's a little bit, little bit under a thousand um, USD for that classic edition. And what this does is essentially for a much cheaper entry point, you can get your Mac Healy and then you can customize it. Um, you can try out um, the atmosphere application, the water application, the making application for anywhere between one, three, six, or 12 months. And you can add on just one of those, you can add on two, you can add on all three, and each of those can have a different subscription link too. So um, it's there's a ton of flexibility here as far as how you, someone that wants to just come in, um, they get their Magli device, you know, under $1,000. It comes with a classic um, application for lifetime. So you have those no matter what, even if you um, add water, add atmosphere, add make making, you end up canceling those at some point in the future, you still have lifetime access to the classic application, uh, but you can try these out. Maybe you just want to try out the water application for a month and see how it works for you. Okay, great. Uh, but you can add on more and you can save more. The more, uh, the longer the subscription term and the more um, application that you add on, the bigger discount you can get all the way up to a 46% discount if you add on all three applications for each for a 12 month term. And then also, you can upgrade at any time from the classic to the professional. So the professional edition will still be sold same price that it is right now, 2,990 USD. And that will still, you'll give a lifetime access to all four of those applications, but you can start at that lower classic application. Maybe you try out all the different applications and you love them all. And you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade to the professional edition. Um, and you can do that at any time. So. Um, that option will be available in the cart, and then you can just pay for that upgrade, and then the subscriptions go away, and then you have full lifetime access to all four modules. So it's a it's a great, uh, more flexible, a lot easier to introduce somebody to Mac Healy um, at this these different price points too. So this is how it, this is this is the Europe shop, and this is showing with um, taxes and stuff in Europe. So this is just from our demo site. So. Don't pay attention to those prices. This is just kind of how the structure is going to look um, here. As far as you go to the Mac Healy, say you, I don't want professional, I want the Mac Healy Classic. Okay, you click on the Mac Healy Classic. And then from there, you'll see there's these uh, three different boxes, atmosphere, water, and making. And you can click on each individually, which is kind of how it's shown on this next slide. So on the left here, if you were to click on each of them, this is what it shows. And then on the right side, this is just kind of a, a, a bigger version of each of them. But you can kind of see if you pick three months for atmosphere, there's one price. If you pick one month for water, it's a different price. If you pick 12 months for McMakin, it's the lowest possible price. So it will adjust as you go while you're trying to decide. You can toggle between one, three, six, and 12, uncheck water, check McMakin, and you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and then once you've kind of finalized your selection, once you add it to your cart, um, this is what it would look like within the cart itself. So you would see um, the Mac Healy Classic Edition, you would see the discount you're getting for some of these as well. And you would see your, your total sort of due, the total due today, essentially. And then you would see your recurring total um, as well. 
for that ongoing monthly fee too. So um, it's, and that's, that's if you're buying the Mag Healy um, Classic as a, as a new customer, you don't have your Mag Healy yet. Let's just say you already have your Mag Healy Classic and let's just say you, maybe you have the, you, you bought the Classic with the atmosphere. You come back to your shop and okay, well now I wanna add on water and McMakin. I wanna try those out for a couple months too. You would just go back into your shop and then you would pick the Mag Healy applications section and then you can just click on water and click on McMakin. You can add them individually. You can pick the different term the subscription link that you want. Um, and then you can manage your subscriptions within uh, the shop as well. If you wanna cancel one or add on one or change the term length, that kind of thing too. So uh, there's, it, it, it opens up a whole new world um, here for Mag Healy, you know, for, for anyone that going forward, not just, it's a, uh, an easier way to introduce the Mag Healy to someone they can customize it exactly the way they want. There's still the professional option if someone knows that they want all four modules. Uh, but it also adds that sort of um, a better business opportunity too to have that ongoing uh, monthly subscription fee um, if you were to bring in a bunch of customers or new members into the Healy world. So. And anything to add on to the these Mac Healy subscriptions here? <laughs> no, the that that flexibility is going to be a, a a great asset. I mean, no matter what we do, no matter what business model we have in our world. Um, some people just want to pick and choose and to have that affordability, affordability and flexibility. Um, yeah, I think it's going to open a lot of, uh, of more sales, more opportunities, uh, be able to move the Mag Healy out into a bigger demographic. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, it's it's uh, for sure. And it's it's one of these, you know, a lot of companies, they're not that, quite that flexible with their subscription. It's either you pay for a month to month or you lock it in for a year. You know, that's, that's a big gap. Uh, between those two. So I think we're, we're lucky that we have the opportunity here um, to do one, three, six, and 12. And each of the different applications too, you can pick. It's not, okay, I want to try these out and I have to do atmosphere, water, and McMakin all for the same period of time. Maybe you know for sure you really want to do McMakin for a year because you you demoed it maybe and you had really great results from Mc, on the McMakin uh, module. So you want to do that for 12 months, but Maybe you've never tried the water yet. I just want to try it out for a month. And maybe after a month, you're like, I love this. I'm going to do this for 12 months now and get a little bit of a bigger discount. So uh, it's very, very consumer friendly. Um, this is new subscription model that we have going forward. So excited for sure about this. And actually starting in, in July, it's almost hard to believe that next month is July. <laughs> All right. Uh, but um, yeah, there's going to be a series of trainings. I believe it's every week for six, seven, or eight weeks in a row where they're going to go through the different features of the Mag Healy subscription model. And there'll be more information coming out um, on that here in the next couple of weeks. So we're, we're really going to, there's new, there's new videos coming out um, to go along with this model, new brochures, new tools, new graphics. Um, so the, the global marketing team over there in Germany is an amazing job putting this all together. And I think you all will be very happy and very impressed with the, the, the tools that will be available for you to help share um, this new Mag Healy subscription model with everybody. Yeah, there's been a lot of improvements uh, within that uh, academy. There's been so many changes. I love the videos that are coming out. I mean, we just had a great, a, a great, a plethora of tools. So yeah, for sure. So, and throughout this call, if you have any questions about the Analyze 2 app or the Maculate subscription model that we're discussing right now, go ahead and put them into the chat. You know, Healy for Beginners and Beyond, we typically just kind of just stick to the agenda, but, um, you know, this is a little bit of a different format on this call today, the, the top five. So go ahead and do that, and we'll see if we can help you out with those too. But in the meantime, Ken, let's, let's talk a little bit about charging your devices, you know? Hello. Um, of course, the original Healy device has a certain type of battery and a certain size battery mm -hmm. um, and a different type of charger and charging cable. And then there's the, the Mag Healy that has, you know, this wireless charging pad and it has a much bigger battery and requires more power. Um, and there's, there's key differences between those two. So let's, and what, maybe we talk first start. Start off with the original Healy device, you know, um, sure. that is the classic 
Um, it has a it has a smaller battery, you know, as far as battery size itself, it's 145. Um, if you're going by the abbreviation, it's the everyone sees it, the M A H. Uh, this question came up on Tech Tip Tuesday. Someone was wondering if they can charge their Healy with a uh, power bank that it was 20,000 mAh. And yeah. <laughs> they were worried that they were going to hurt their device. And it's, and then Ken, I, you want to explain this again, but it's not, that's essentially you're charging your battery with a battery in that, in that situation there. And it's, the key is how fast the charge from that battery is going into your <laughs> Healy device there, the output of the, the port that you're plugging it into, not the overall storage capacity of that um, power bank. Right. The, the the battery in the Healy, it's a it's a like you said, it's a 145 milliamp battery. So picture it something like like a hearing aid battery. You know, that it's it's not really big. It's uh it's a small, uh, it's not exactly like a hearing aid battery, but just picture it's a fairly small battery. Um, they are five volt capacity. Um, and they're, they're hardwired essentially into the circuit and to recharge that they have Healy's maximum recommendation is 2,500 milliamps. Now let's just, let's just break that down. 2,500 milliamps. sounds like a lot, right? But it's actually what, what we would call we 2.5 amps. Mm -hmm. So, um, millions of an amps is the milliamps and then, uh, amps is, is, is is in its whole number. So 2.5 amps, that's very small. Um, look at it this way. Your car battery probably holds around 500 amps, okay? It's in your car. That's a minimum. That's a small battery. So this guy is a fairly small battery and the charging capacity, uh, you don't want to overdo it. And there's it, it has a range of inputs from 500 milliamps or 0.5 amps, right? Up to 2,500 milliamps or 2.5 amps. That's the range. Now, the smaller the number, the longer the charge time. That's what that means, right? The smaller the number, the longer the charge time. And anybody who has a little adapter that plugs into the wall is going to have a little spec plate on it. And the spec plate is going to tell you the output of that little device. Uh, it plugs into the wall. It changes the power from your wall into compatible energy for your Healy or your mag Healy, as we're going to get into that. But the point is, is it has a spec plate on it. And so look at those spec plates and just make sure they're at that 2,500 milliamps or below and be able to charge your device. Everything is the same voltage, no matter where you are in the world. So you go to other countries, by the way, as long as it plugs into the wall, because you know there's other countries have different little deals in the wall, right? When it plugs into the wall, it converts that voltage into the output necessary to charge your device. So people travel around the world, right? And I do. And so when we go to other countries, uh, we're able to still charge our device because the, the, the USB port, universal serial bus port, is always going to be five volts output, but various amplitudes or amps, okay? Um, and I also want to talk about, as we're getting into summer here, by the way, folks, I really want to talk about some other specs that's important to make sure you understand that there are temperature ranges for these devices, temperature ranges. So if you leave your Healy in your car and it's summertime, you know, now it's raining in Florida, but it still can get pretty hot in the summer. If you have your windows up, you got your Healy in there, it's got a maximum temperature uh, and a minimum temperature threshold in which, um, you know, you could cause damage to your, your devices. So make sure that you understand that this information, by the way, is in the back of the little booklets that come with your Healy. All that information is in the back. And you can go back there. The electrical parameters page, um, yep. you know, right there, talks about the, the charging specifications. And, and the environmental conditions I'm talking about are right there under 7.4, yeah. under environmental conditions. It tells you um, in Celsius and in Fahrenheit, the lowest temperature is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Highest temperature is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it could be 104 degrees outside. What do you think it is in your car? Right? You don't leave your pet in your car or your child in your car. You don't sit in your car with the windows up in the summertime. You don't do the same with the Healy. Yeah. Ken, right. would, you, would you say this is similar to, uh, most people probably have this happen. You know, I've had this happen with my iPhone many times where I might be working outside doing something. You left it just on a chair in the sun and it's, it's, it overheats and it says it can't be used right now because it's too hot. Exactly. And it has to cool down because it, it can damage the, the device itself. 
And, and our smart devices do have uh, temperature sensors within them to make sure those parameters um, are within the threshold. Healy doesn't have a temperature sensor inside. It's up to you <laughs> to make sure you, you monitor that and take care of your Healy. It's not going to tell you it's too hot um, like your smart device. But yeah, like Jake said, it is real similar to that. Uh, mm -hmm. There are thresholds with any electronic, by the way, folks. I just don't understand with any electronic system. Uh, that's my background is engineering. So uh, the number one killer of an electronic circuit is heat. So we want to make sure and maintain that within the parameters it's designed for. Yeah, and Ken, you mentioned, you know, the different charging blocks. You know, I think we've all have different ones. You know, this is just one we have here in the office. And you mentioned that sort of that plate on the bottom. If I won't be able to see this, I don't know, I'm not going to get clear enough. Oh, well, maybe. There it but, is. Um, you'll notice it says 4.8 amps, but 2.4 amps per port. So, you know, so this one would fall within the range. You know, there's two ports on the front here. So basically, even though this puts out 4.8, it's only 2.4 per port. So that falls within the 2.5 amp um, specification listed for the for the Healy device. So this would be one that would be you know great to use um, for your Healy device. And you know, everyone, I think a lot of people have the the original iPhone charging block too, when they still included a charging block with <laughs> the phones. You know, the standard USB one that's uh it's only a one amp charger. Uh, but that works fine as well, too. Um, just you don't, for the regular Healy device, you don't want to be using, you know, it's not recommended to use a 3.0 fast charger or anything like that because there's no real fast charging technology within the, the battery itself. So, yep, these little, these little blocks yeah. are sing single ports. You know, you have some that are multiple ports, but it's going to give you the maximum output per port, like you saw with Jake, per port. Uh, and then making sure you're within that range, uh, you'll be fine. The other thing that some folks use is an actual portable little battery, right? There's these various different designs of these little portable batteries. I've got one here that's kind of a, a cylinder looking thing. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have outputs. Now, these outputs, the battery itself may be 3,000 or 4,000 milliamps, but the output is limited to a certain amount. So just keep a look at it. And the reason there's such a higher milliamp um, capacity is so they can charge the device more than once, right? Because look at look at the amps as um, uh, as the flow of energy, right? And look at the voltage as uh, the potential um, overall um, limit of the voltage. So they're they're five volts. That's the limit of the output but the flow of that current is the milliamps. And so, so some of these little charging guys can be 4,000 milliamps, but they don't put that out at once. Okay, so just take a look at the spec plate. Uh, and these are super convenient. I travel with one of these guys all the time. Yeah. Okay, so again, of course, the, the Healy device itself uses a, a micro USB on the Healy device side and a USB -A on the, the side that plugs into the port. Um, again, we've covered this on other calls, but if for some reason you lose the cable that comes with your Healy device. There's nothing proprietary about the one that we've shipped. Um, you can just get one anywhere from you know, anywhere on Amazon, any other store, really. Uh, if you need a longer cable, too, um, that's fine as well. So, personally, I, really... I, like a bit, I like a little bit longer cable than a little, little uh, shorter. They're handy, but I like a little bit longer cable. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then Mag Healy, let's talk a little bit about Mag Healy because that's a, a much, it's a, it's a different story. You know, it's a much bigger battery. It uses the different charging technology. There's no way to plug a cord directly into the Mag Healy device itself. You plug it into um, the charging plate itself. So, you know, that's that's one of the big differences. And you see the output on here, essentially it's a five watt inductive wireless charger. Uh, but yeah, on on the Mac Healy, there's no there's no place to plug anything in there. So the 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 key difference here is that whereas on the Healy device, it's a maximum of 2.5 amps you want to be using for the charger. On the Mac Healy, the specification just says a minimum of two amps. So the maximum is not really listed there, and it because it, it does take a lot more power because it's a much bigger battery and um, a lot more things going on in there. So 
And Ken, we we found we've come up on some of our calls, and our tech team has been uh, we, we've been kind of researching this uh, some here too. Of any if anyone ever has any charging issues, um, even though we say we that the minimum specification is two amp, we have found that not all two amp chargers are created equal. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas you know it might say it's listed two amp on there, but maybe it's it was never I don't know. It didn't, Past the certification or something like that, it didn't actually. He's not putting out that two amp um, and power. And, and in almost all cases, if someone's having that issue where they're not getting their brand new Mag Helia to charge with a two amp charger, if they switch to one of these quick chargers, the three point um, amps, they are able to get their Mag Helia to charge. So that's usually the first thing we recommend is try a different charging block. And it's it's interesting because. You can get your Mac to charge with that standard one amp um, little Apple charger that you, that you just showed there, Ken, um, even though that's below the minimum specification. So again, it's like not all of them are created equal, even though the specs on those chargers say that it could be, um, that's why it's, it's always good to find one that works best um, for your device and try them out. And I think most of us have a lot of these different charging devices and USB hubs and things around the, the house. So. Uh, that would be one of the first things to to try out if you're having any charging issues. In the manufacturing world, they put uh, the spec plate usually has to do with um, with either average or max, and they'll show a max of two thousand milliamps output. Now, remember, an inductive charger like what Mag Healy uses, it uses magnetic energy, right? And it's a, it's what's called an inductive charger. So in the in the Mag Healy, there is a um, a circuit that actually takes that magnetic energy and converts it over into voltage to, to charge the battery. So there is a bit of loss, by the way, between the charging plate output and the mag Healy input. There's a bit of loss just because of free space, right? No, even though it's sitting right on top of it, there's a bit of loss. So if you're using a minimum threshold uh, charge plate and it's try, it's probably putting out the maximum amount with that number, you follow me so far? using a minimum output plate and the spec plate is the maximum output it's providing, there could be enough loss to really slow down the charging of your mag Healy. So you can go over on the output of the charge plate and the mag Healy kind of differentiates. So you're, you're, you're okay to go with a bigger output charge plate on those um, inductive chargers. Yeah. And uh, just for comparison, if you look in the Mag Healy instructions for use, we mentioned the Healy battery is small, 145 uh, milliamp. The Mag Healy, 2,600. So yeah. um, it's certainly a little bit bigger in size. And that's why it needs a little bit more power to, to charge that in, a, in a, still a reasonable amount of time. So, yeah. And it, right. it's interesting that you mentioned that, Ken, uh, that space between the actual charging plate and the Healy device, because there's, you know, there's that little rubber ring where it kind of rests on there, gives it a little bit of a cushion, which is nice. Um, but, you know, if, if you're having a charging issue too, not only try the different charging block, but push it down a little bit, just lightly. Don't, you don't need to force it, you know, with all of your might, but just push it down a little bit to see if that initiates that charging sequence too. Because it, if you bring it a little bit closer together, it could trigger um, that charging process to begin too. Awesome. Okay. So hopefully you guys are, this will be recorded so you can go back and look at this. Hopefully maybe you're taking some notes um, and, and take a look in, online at, at various types of inductive charging systems. Um, yeah, but again, look at the specs with, that comes with the Mag Healy. I love the the little, you know, most people don't look at the back of the book. <laughs> I, I I do. Yeah, yeah, and that's also it's a it's a good point. And then you know the as we mentioned on the Healy device on the Healy side, it's micro USB and then USB A Type A on the the side that plugs into the charging block, plugs in, plugs into the wall outlet. Um, on the Mag Healy, it's USB C that plugs into the actual wireless charger. So again, it looks a little bit different um, than the, the other one. And then on the wall side though, it's the same USB type A, but keep in mind 
the reason that it ships like that is because that's the most common adapter still. A lot of things have moved over to USB-C, you know, like with the iPhone, the part that plugs into the wall now, the charging block is USB-C. Um, and that is kind of the way everything is going. And so keep in mind, say you have a charger by your bed and it only has a bunch of USB-C ports. You can get a different cable for your for your Mag Healy that has a USB-C on both ends um, and use that as well. So that that is perfectly fine to do too. So it doesn't have to be that original cable there. Yeah, uh, because like I said before, everything's converted into that five volt requirement. And especially with the Mag Healy, that inductive charging system actually is one of the more safe ways to charge anything because it removes the device you're charging from any kind of electrical surges or, or lightning strikes or, or any of the odd things that can happen to the circuitry within the building. And, and so your device is the most safe. This is another reason why even smart devices have an inductive charging pro process that you could just set your smart device on a, on a block and it charges it for you. Again, one of the more safe ways to do so. Right. Okay. So we've covered a little bit about the Analyze 2 app, a little bit about uh, the Mac Healy subscriptions, a little bit about charging the Healy and the Mac Healy. So uh, we're going to move a little bit now into uh, how how to actually get the most out of the resources that we have available here at Healy World. And Ken, how many times have we answered a question on Tech Tip Tuesday, which we love to do. We love all the questions that we can get um, on those calls, but then we point people back to, well, okay, that's, that's, well, let's, let's answer this, but here is where it's covered in the actual app manual itself. Because a lot of times um, these questions are, they come up and of course, you know, Especially if you're brand new with Healy, you might not want to read through the the whole 47 you know page page manual when you first get started. You just want to turn on your Healy device and get going, which is great. But at some point, uh, we definitely recommend um, everybody to go back and actually read through that manual. So this is this is one of. Let me share my screen again. Back to, this manual, but this is one of, this is the Healy app manual, and you can access this from back office in your download section, or uh, you can also access this within the app itself in the information um, section too. So it's convenient that it's right there within the app, uh, but sometimes it might be, you might want to download this as a PDF and then expand it, print it, whatever you want to do with it. Um, it's a little bit easier to read, but it goes through each of the individual program groups, um, it tells you um, a little bit about how the device itself works, the different real-time resonance and selection modes as well. There's a great video that explains all this now too in Academy, uh, but it, it tells you a little bit about each of the programs, how long the programs run for, um, and then it, it goes through everything. And some of the other, the newer program groups might explain a little bit like the chakras here, um, what they actually are, what, they, what it means, what the program group is designed to do, like a deep cycle. Um, it goes into a little bit more detail on that. So just, again, if you're if you're new to Healy or if you've been with Healy for years and have never looked at this app manual, it's well worth uh, um, spending a little bit of time to get more familiar with it. Because some of the, you might learn something new, even if you've been with Healy uh, for a long period of time. And this is constantly updated whenever there's a new uh, program group. And, you know, everything, everything is current and up to date. You know, SoulCycle is one of our newer programs and there's information in here about that as well. So. And that, that goes for not just the, the Healy app manual, you know, the same thing for the Mac Healy app manual. You can access these Actually, let me, can, I, I'm going to switch over to back office here real quick, Ken. Okay. Uh, I'm sharing my screen one more time. So now we're back. This is in the download section of back office. And you see here at the top, it's convenient. You can sort by the type. You can sort by flyer, manuals, priceless, complex presentation, or you can 
there's a bigger drop down box here too. So here, you know, we see the the Healy, the Mac Healy manual, the Healy app manual, the Healyvisor analyze app manual, the watch manual. So um, we've got all those documents in here. Again, you can just click on them um, to view them, or you can just download those from here. And you know, of course, there'll be new content coming. There will be a new manual, of course, that goes along with the Analyze 2 app, uh, which will be um, super convenient. But they're, they're easy to get to from here. And this is this along with, let's just switch over to Academy. So somebody brand new that's coming in or someone that isn't too familiar with their Healy yet, you, you get your Healy device, you charge your Healy device, 100% recommend everybody goes to this Healy section in here and watches this complete series of videos. These are all new within you know the last six months or so, and but they're they're all excellent. You know, your first steps with Healy. Um, it talks about both with Healy and Mag Healy guide for your device installing, setting up and running programs, troubleshooting, expert area. If you have any time waiver therapists you're working with, um, info center. Bluetooth, um, and then how the Healy programs work. This is one of my favorite videos of someone's like, well, how, how does it know what frequencies to, to, to send for me? You know, as we talk a little bit about um, individualized microcurrent frequencies, well, what does that mean? Okay, it talks, this video explains how it's loading all these different frequencies in there and it's picking the different ones specifically for you, for what they, for what you need. Um, and then also, Love this video as well, the harmonization, tuning the bioenergetic field. Uh, this one is, is excellent too, as far as the science behind how this all works. And the question, is this all in Academy? Yes, this is academy.healy.world. Just go to that link and then it'll ask you to pick your country. Um, you'll log in using that single sign-on, essentially the same um, process that we just explained. It's the same ID, um, email and password, username, password. Uh, that you use to log into all the shop, back office, academy, apps. Uh, but, and then there's downloadable material too, which is really cool. And you can actually take uh, a course. You can take a course on getting started with the Healy and it will, will tell you, you know, why, okay, you still need to watch this one and this one. And then once you're done, you can start this little test um, to make sure that you sort of retain the key points of some of these these videos. Uh, there's a course there for the Healy, and there's also a course for the coaching module. And the, co the coaching module uh, is super powerful, um, and there's 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 so much uh, available within it. So that's why you see there's a lot more videos here. The the course, the questions go along with it a little bit longer too. And of course, we're all. Um, very excited for the new Analyze 2 app to be released because the coaching module is uh, easier, much easier to use within it. Um, it's easier to get the most out of it, uh, to have the most impact on you and any uh, clients that you might be working with too. And again, these these videos, they're not that long. Um, no. you know, there's many of them, but they're not that long. So you can actually accomplish this in a very short period of time. So, um, you know, just just taking notes, uh, it just makes you, I think it makes, well, first of all, to me, it makes the product uh, value go way up, way up, because how many of you have learned something that the Healy, you didn't know the Healy would do, right? I mean, every day I hear this, every day I hear this, I didn't know it would do that. And it's done because you, one learns that because someone else is either demonstrating it, or you've watched a video, or you saw it somewhere um, on maybe some of the social media platforms. So these things give a very clear outline of the capabilities. And still, I'll be honest with you, there's still various ways in which we can use this system uh, based on your own creativity. So, uh, so definitely plug it into your memory and, uh, and let your creativity come up with some cool stuff so you can comment back on Tech Tip Tuesday one night. <laughs> yeah, okay, and that's, I think that's the, the great thing here at Healy is, you know, I, I've been with Healy for about two and a half years now, and I, I'm i learning, I know a lot, but I'm learning a lot. I learn something almost every day, um, whether it's learning something from you, Ken, during these calls, or, or learning from you all on, on these calls, answering or asking these questions in the chat, things that I never even thought about <laughs> um, to ask. So 
That's, that's the great thing. We've got an amazing Healy World community here, and we're all in this learning together um, as we go on this on this journey, which is which is awesome. What I think most a lot of people don't realize is is this is technology that has not been done before, and so we have to understand that. Um, the capabilities in Marcus and his team are still discovering and studying uh, the effectiveness. And then based on those studies, how many of you, have you have ever asked a question and the answer promoted or stimulated more questions, right? So this is exactly what happens is as these studies are ongoing, it then begs more questions and more ongoing studies. So what we can do here is really uh, infinitely possible. We can do so many things, and I'm grateful for that. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, the Academy, there was a relaunch of the Academy a few months ago, and really the there's going to be a whole new set of content, content to go along with the Analyze 2 app, uh, which is going to be amazing to have those tools and videos and trainings to go along with this much easier to use um app so when someone first comes in it's it's fairly simple now if you watch all these these videos to go along with the healy 2 app to use the microcurrent programs it's pretty simple to get started as long as you follow all these all these different videos um the analyze app is one where um, we don't have quite the, the easy of an onboarding process of explaining how to use it and we are going to have that um in the very near future which will be super helpful for for anybody and then, not only new product videos, but coming to Academy as well, there's going to be a whole different series. And you know, there's a there's a business tab up here, but there's not a lot there yet. There's going to be a whole new, it's been in the works for I think almost a year now, um, but of how to get started with your Healy business, uh, the whole roadmap, all the different steps to take, what you should do your first few days, first few weeks, first few months, and they kind of guide you along that process. You know, we We've done a great job on the, the product side and it's getting even better. And now we're going to match that on the business side as well, which is going to be amazing too. The cool thing about social selling or social network selling or um, uh, social marketing, the cool thing about that is it really levels the playing field. You don't need a PhD or you don't need to be a guru or a practitioner to actually be able to create an income and a fairly substantial one. So, uh, but often people go, I don't know what to do, right? So some basic steps are really important. Uh, but the key thing, and I'm going to tell, I tell all, all of my team this, uh, is the number one most important thing is that you bring you to the table. The reason you attract certain people into your life is because you, not because you're being like someone else. And so you run a business in the social networking uh, protocol or modality. You need to run it like you because you're going to attract the people you want to work with, the partners that you like. Right. That's a really, really big key thing. But so having some tracks to run on, some guidelines that Healy's building for you, that's going to be super helpful to start. Don't be afraid to start, though. <laughs> OK, well, we can we cover that top five in just about 50 minutes. So I think it's was, it was pretty good. <laughs> we'll have to keep that in mind going forward to you know 10 minutes for a topic. Uh, yeah. But. Anything else you want to add today, Ken, or else uh, we'll we'll just we'll wrap up and we'll we'll get everyone ready to go for the, the deep dive into the Analyze Two app next month. You know, so I've been with Healy for uh, uh, well, a little over three years, and uh, going on uh, you know close to four years coming up. Anyway, I've watched this migration, this evolution of this company from um, from essentially like we would call it infant, you know, growing. And yet it's it's such a big uh, deal, a technology that that we have such a diversity with. We can almost touch anything within this within humans and animals and plants, <laughs> our environment uh, through energy. And, and and as Nikola Tesla said years ago, decades ago, is that, that the, the day that science begins to study these non-physical phenomenon, it will make more progress in one decade than it had in the previous centuries of the existence of science. So this is energy work. This is the non-physical work. Uh, and this is really where I think we're giving people their power back in terms of healing. Um, this is the next evolution of uh, empowerment. So I'm super grateful for being here. Thank you, Jake, uh, for all that you do. The, the corporate team is amazing and uh, we just keep getting better. Yeah.
And oh, so before we close, the recording of this will be available on our, we didn't mention our YouTube channel um, earlier, but it's available on our YouTube channel at HealyAmericas.com. Uh, I'll just, before we end here, I'll just share this while we're here. You just go to HealyAmericas.com or within YouTube, it's at Healy World Americas. And you'll see here, this is where we post all the recordings, Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, from two days ago is up there already. You'll see it was added earlier today. Uh, we had our What's Up Wednesdays there as well. Uh, Healy for Beginners and Beyond. You can go to the different playlists and kind of see all the different videos. Tech Tip Tuesday, there's a ton of available there, Healy for Beginners and Beyond as well. Uh, so if you haven't, if you're looking for these recordings, um, go ahead, go to this page. If you haven't subscribed yet, there'll be a little bell here where you can uh, subscribe to it so you'll be notified. Or if you subscribe and then turn on the, the notifications, you'll get a little notification in your top right every time that we add a video to our YouTube channel. So super convenient. Um, and then each of the calls are indexed. So you'll see here, if you click on the video and then go to show more, all the different questions that we cover are different topics are all hyperlinked. So you can kind of easily see, okay, oh, I, I know this, 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 this. Oh, I don't, I don't know anything about this. I'm going to click on that. You just click on the, the timestamp. It takes you right to that segment. Um, and then you can just watch that. Watch the stuff that you need to know or watch the whole thing, uh, whatever works best for you. So great, um, great feature. Awesome resources. Thank you so much, Jake. You're welcome. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> for starting it all. So thank you all for being here, everybody. It's been an yeah, awesome. Thank pleasure. you, everybody. Have a great day. And we'll see you um, in July for the next Healy for Beginners and Beyond. All right. Bye, guys.